Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We... we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is, if you wish, my lady. They said the hunt for the artifact was a suicide mission. I feared I wouldn't see you again. Some even thought it was the Mother Superior's plan alone and not what Lady Shah wanted. Some even thought it was the Mother Superior's plan alone and not Lady Shah's intent. It seems the Whispers were right on that last part. At some point, she confused her ambitions for the Night Singer's will. But no matter. You rule us now. What comes next? I wish... to know more. There must be all sorts of things you can tell me. Little things from my past, lost to Lady Shah's embrace. If you wish it of me, of course, my lady. I work as the Quartermaster. Come see me whenever you wish. Shadowheart. I mean, my lady. I'm sorry, that takes some getting used to. Please, don't call me friend. You know what it's like here, backstabbing, vying for favor. It could be dangerous for me if others think I'm your favorite. Well, you had a pet mouse for a while. It was against the rules, of course. You used to hide him under your robes and feed him from your rations. <laughs> Nibbles? I suggested Bree, but you were having none of it. She caught you with him. Forced you to get rid of him in front of everyone. To make an example. You always loved animals. But you never let yourself get too close after that. I'm sorry. Not the sort of thing you want to hear, I'm sure. Well... You know that little scar on your elbow? I was there when you picked that up. It was years ago when we were initiates. Some of the others were intent on tormenting us until you showed them the error of their ways. I think it was six against two? And most of them were bigger than us to boot, but you saw them off, all of them. There were some bruised lips and black eyes in the mess hall that night. And from then on, they left us alone. Or at least, they bothered us less. A collision between your elbow and the teeth of a girl called Buddock. She came away from it worse than you. She was on the same mission as you. I suppose she won't be coming back. In any case, the Mother Superior soon broke up the fighting, though she didn't punish us. In fact, I saw her smiling. I think she was proud of you. Just small things, silly things. The sort you'd scarcely recall even if your memories were left intact. You had a little hiding place that you went to when you needed to get away. You brought me there sometimes. We'd talk, play, read, do each other's hair. The plat and fringe? Yes, on your instructions, of course. You were very intent on a bold look, I think you said. My hands were cramped by the time I finished, but you were very pleased. Hidden at the back of the storage area. Luckily enough, as Quartermaster, I was able to keep it hidden back there. It should be, well, if not how you remember it, exactly as you left it. <laughs> 